good morning. I'm Michael Fox, as you know. This is I Preach, and it's Saturday, August 27, 2022. I know I put a video up a couple of days ago, but the Lord has given me something, and I wanted to get it while it's hot and fresh, and I felt a need to give it to you. So this is it. I'm going to be going to Galatians chapter 5 verses 16 to 18. And then we're going to talk a little bit about the body, soul, and spirit. So let's read this verse from Galatians. And in verse 16 it says, I say then, walk in the spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusts against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary to one another, so that you do not do the things that you wish. But if you are led of the Spirit, you are not under the law. Okay, Wood, we are made in the image of God. We're a triune being. We have spirit, soul, and body. So when someone's born again, he has a spirit that becomes alive because before it was dead. Romans 8.10 says, and if Christ is in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit is life because of righteousness. But th through faith in Christ, our spirit is made alive or if you will it's been resurrected from the dead so when you come to Christ your spirit becomes alive when once it was dead now it's alive but the body is still dead because of sin and that's why we grow old and eventually die and our bodies decompose so you have a spirit that's alive and a body that's dead and they're in conflict one with another they're in a war wars are always fought for something the victor gets something so what does the victor get in this war you have this the spirit on one side fighting against the flesh and the flesh is fighting against the spirit. So what's the prize? What's at stake here? And that's your soul. Your soul is at stake here. The winner gets the soul. And the soul does what the body or the spirit tells it to do. If you go back to Galatians chapter verse 16, it tells us that if you walk in the Spirit, you will not do the things that the body wants you to do. In the natural, you have like eyes and ears and abilities to be in contact with this world. We also have spiritual eyes and ears and abilities to be in contact with spiritual or heavenly things. See verse six, 16 says walk in the Spirit. And we can walk in the things of the Spirit to go deeper you have to walk. You have to use your spiritual legs. You have things in the Spirit that you can use to move closer to God and the things of God, the heavenly things, and, and turn off the bodily things. Because if you, if you walk in the Spirit, verse 16 says, you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Whatever has dominion over you has dominion over your soul either the body or the spirit. Whatever has dominion over you has dominion over your soul. 
And God gives us that choice. He gives us the ability to choose. He's not going to come down and, and, make, and force you to do something. And usually the body, that's what the body does. The body forces you through lust, through wrath, through anger. But, but God's kingdom is not built like that. The principles of God's kingdom or the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, goodness, gentleness, self-control. These are the things that the spirit gives us. When the body gives us nothing but desire and, and, and flesh and anger and, and, and all the, the ungodly characteristics of the world. This world is passing away, but the kingdom of God is eternal. So the things of this world, we may be going to work and, and I go to work and, and, and we may be like trying to save for retirement, which I'm doing too. But you know what? These things are temporary. Everything that you own right now really isn't yours. Because if you die, you no longer have control over it. You no long, longer have a hand in it. If you die, everything that you owned you no longer have. But the heavenly things, mm -hmm. the things in heaven, those are eternal. And Matthew 6, 19 to 21 says, Jesus was speaking, this is the sermon on, part of the Sermon on the Mount. He said, do not lay up for yourself treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourself treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroy, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. The body and the spirit, who wins that war? It's wherever your treasure is. It's where whatever is more important to you, whatever is more valuable in your mind. We have a battle and a struggle between the flesh and the spirit. And the more you allow the spirit to win those victories, the flesh will get weaker and weaker and weaker. But if you let the flesh control the spirit, the spirit will get weaker and the flesh will get stronger. We need to realize where our treasure is. And when we realize where our treasure is, we need to start making choices, more spiritual choices, more godly choices than what we're making. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. I thought that um, it was pretty um, awesome revelation. And I just want to pray really quick before we end, Father. We pray that we would follow after your spirit instead of after the fleshly nature and desires, Lord, Father God, that we have. Lord, let us turn our minds toward you in everything we do and realize that we're here for your purposes and not for our, for our own purposes or our own um, lust and, and our, our, the things that we consider more important, Lord. And we just pray that you would help us to understand the difference. The message of John the Baptist, the message of Jesus, and the message that Jesus told his disciples were to preach, the kingdom of heaven is here. Repent, 
for the kingdom of heaven is here. And it's still here today. So help us to repent of the way, the selfish way we've been living our life and begin to plug into what you're showing us and plug into what you would have us to do, Lord. And we ask that in Jesus' name. Amen. Pray that um, if you have a comment, please give, send a comment, thumbs up, or subscribe. And we'll see you next time on our